If you've been using ChatGPT for any length of time, then you'll know it's incredibly frustrating to get it to remember things, not only within a chat sometimes, but from one chat to the next. But with the memory feature that you can turn on in your settings, it will now remember things that you tell it to remember across all your chats, and you can even turn it on and off. So the way the, to do that and toggle it on is to go into your account I happen to have two, I have a team one and a personal one, but then click on settings and go into personalization and you'll see there's something called memory. You just have to make sure that's toggled on so it's green there. And then you'll also be able to see after you've told it to remember things, what it's actually remembering. So I've only told it one thing so far. I could clear entire memory there and I could also get rid of it. You can also turn it off for certain chats. So I'm gonna close that out and show you how I did that. So I just started a new chat and I said, remember these instructions in your memory. So you can just say, remember it in your memory. Give it some details. I gave it some things on words and phrases I don't like and some other details and grammar. And then it said, memory updated. You can then start a new chat to really check it and check anything and say, what did, I said, what do you have in your memory? Because the first time I looked, I didn't see anything there. I said, what do you have in your memory, in your memory from my last chat? And it gave me a summary of that. And then when I start a new chat again, I can make sure that it is on. It's automatically toggled on, but there's an option here called temporary chat. So that one would not remember things. And then if I have more things in any chat, even if you're in the middle of a chat, you can tell it to remember those instructions or whatever it is that you want it to remember, whether it's details about your target audience, ways that you write. You also have your custom instructions still where you can give other details. For instance, I told it it can call me by my name, but that's much more limited. The memory you can pick and choose and it can remember much more. So I'm gonna play with that and see whether it really does remember. But if you have any other tips, please do let me know how it goes. Take care.